Welcome to The Joy of Music. Featuring as hostess, Diane Bick, the first lady of the organ. Praise ye the Lord. Praise him in his sanctuary. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Diane Bish. Welcome to the Joy of Music. Every week we try to bring you on the Joy of Music musicians who are glorifying God with their talents. Today I have a very special guest, a very warm person, and a musician that has become very outstanding in her art, Anne Martindale Williams, a cellist who has played with symphonies, outstanding trios and chamber ensembles, but also a person who is committed to Jesus Christ and committed to excellence in her music. And I know you're going to want to listen to her and hear her testimony for Jesus Christ. I would like to begin the program by playing on the great organ here at the Coral Ridge Church in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of creation. My very special guest today on The Joy of Music is Anne Martindale Williams. Anne is an outstanding cellist and the principal cellist of the Pittsburgh Symphony. That is quite an honor because not only for a woman, but for a person as young as Anne to be the principal chair of a great orchestra such as the Pittsburgh Symphony. Also, Anne has been featured on public television in trio with Andre Previn and Yehudi Menuhin. She has played as soloist with symphony orchestras, with chamber ensembles, and in solo concerts across the United States. I feel so honored to have her with me today, as she is not only an outstanding musician, but a person that is truly committed to Jesus Christ. 
Let's listen to Anne play now one of her favorite hymns and one of mine also. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Every week on The Joy of Music, we want to bring you music and outstanding musicians who are glorifying God with their music. Today I have a very outstanding guest, 
Her name is Ann Martindale Williams, and she is a, a wonderful cellist. And welcome to the Joy of Music, Ann. Thank you, Diane. It's a pleasure to be on your program. Tell us a little bit about your education, Ann. Did you, uh, you played the cello through high school and yes. then? Yes, then I went uh, two years to the New School of Music in Philadelphia. Then I went um, four years to the Curtis Institute, in, also in Philadelphia. And after you left the Curtis Institute, you went right to the Pittsburgh Symphony. Correct. Yes. Now, isn't it true that you are the first uh, woman in the orchestra to have a principal chair? Uh, principal cellist. We have a, a principal harp player, of course, oh. and pianist. But um, it's quite unusual to have a woman to be principal cellist in an orchestra. In Europe, it's never done. Um, in fact, there are no women in the Vienna Philharmonic, nor in the uh, London Symphony, and I'm sure many of the other European orchestras, there just aren't any women. But in ours, I think we have about 20 women out of about 106 musicians. There so are uh, 106 players in the yes. Pittsburgh Symphony. Mm -hmm. That's a quite large orchestra. Yes. Uh -huh. Well, Anne, I know you to be a person of a very vital Christian faith. And I'd like to ask you, what difference does your faith make in your music? Or perhaps in your playing in the orchestra? Mm -hmm. Well, Scripture tells me that whatever I do, to do it to the honor of the Lord and to His glory. And so I find that I must remember whenever I perform to dedicate each performance to His glory. And also, it's interesting that Scripture also says, to play skillfully on string instruments, that's and right. that's what I try to remember when you're practicing and getting ready for a performance, that it's, it's, it's in honor of the Lord, and I can give Him no less than the best that I have. Mm -hmm. He has done so much for me, and I'm so grateful to Him that I try to return my talent to Him. You know, Anne, there are other musicians, really great musicians, that music is an end in itself but that hasn't been true in your life has it that i mean because i know in my life it's um it would only be emptiness if music were an end in itself exactly there are many musicians that i know that um their whole life is geared to the goal of just music of perfection in music and for music's sake when you achieve that, when you achieve what you think is quite good, um, that's where they come to a dead end, and it's empty after that. You've given your concert your big New York debut, then what? I mean, the next day you still have to get up, and it's, sometimes it's very, very difficult for musicians. Um, it's also very difficult with the ego problem. Um, you know, as I just said, you give your debut recital, you get good reviews, and you get to thinking, well, you know, I must be pretty good. Um, and again, we're told in Scripture only to boast in the Lord, not right. in ourselves. Well, we want to hear you play again. What are you going to play for us now? Well, let's play Adoration by Borowski. Okay. Thank you.
You have been listening to the very great talent of Anne Martindale Williams. And before we talk with Anne again and hear her play, I would like to feature all 6,600 voices of this great organ in playing a wonderful hymn of faith, O oh God Our Help in Ages Past. I will begin on the first verse by using the very rich string stops of the organ. And then I will add and build the organ until the last verse, the melody, is played on the great golden horizontal trumpet. This is the wonderful hymn of faith, O oh God our help in ages past. My special guest today on The Joy of Music is Anne Martindale Williams, an outstanding cellist and a person that has a very strong commitment to Jesus Christ. Anne, I know you rehearse with the orchestra every day and have other rehearsals with chamber ensembles, but I understand also that you play in your church once a month, I believe, on Sunday yes. mornings. Mm -hmm. Is that something that you enjoy doing or you usually play hymns, I suppose? Yes, I, I really believe that it is a privilege to play for those that are in my church. Um, many times I'm not playing the music that is most familiar to me, the classical sonatas or concertos, but I feel that it's, uh, well, they have told me that it's a real blessing to them to hear the familiar hymns played, and I, I really enjoy playing them also because they do mean a lot to me. One of the hymns, Anne, that I'd like for you to play for us in the program today is Savior Like a Shepherd Lead Us. And, you know, if there are any young people or anyone listening to this program today that, that has really lost their way in life, perhaps they've been a success or perhaps they've been a failure, what advice could you give them as a musician or just as a person? Well, in connection with the hymn that you just mentioned, Savior Like a Shepherd Lead Us, uh, the Lord is always there 
and will accept us when we come back to him no matter how far we've gone astray and a shepherd tenderly takes care of his sheep just as he will for us for those of us as we always all of us do do leave him well thank you Anne, for being on the joy of music and thank you for your christian faith and your testimony and your music and i think that the people who hear you will hear in your music that Christian faith and that commitment to, to not only excellence, but to God. Thank, Thank you, you, Diane. My special guest on the joy of music today has been Anne Martindale Williams, cellist. What a remarkable musician she is and what a wonderful person to meet and to talk with and to hear about her faith in Jesus Christ. I hope that each of you watching this program today has experienced the joy and fulfillment in life that Anne has experienced in not only her life but her profession because she has committed herself to Jesus Christ as her Savior. I thank you so much for joining us on The Joy of Music today, and I'll look forward to seeing you again next week. <laughs>